To the right of each screen, there are three custom rotaries in our Fast Grab tab. The custom rotaries can be assigned from the custom rotary screen by touching Setup, followed by Control, followed by Custom Rotary. These controls can be set independently for each screen and can be set to follow the selected channel, active mix or be locked to a specific channel. We can set the custom rotaries up to control processing parameters such as gates and compressors, send levels to mixes, to control the IAM wedge level or to control automatic mic mixing priority. In this example I'm going to set the left screen rotary encoders to control the gate parameters. I'm going to do this by selecting gate followed by threshold for the top encoder, attack for the second encoder and finally release for the third encoder. This will now allow me to use these encoders to control some of the gate settings for whichever channel is selected. I could, if I wish, lock these to a specific channel to allow me to have quick access to the gate settings for say a snare drum regardless of which channel I had selected. On the right hand screen I'm going to set up some effect sends and I'm going to choose to lock these to specific channels. By touching channel locked and send level, I can assign each encoder to send a vocal channel to an effects engine. This means no matter which channel is selected or which bus is active, I can always adjust my vocal effects ends quickly. The tab will appear either when an encoder is adjusted, in which case it will remain visible for the time assigned in the custom rotary tab menu, or when the view button is pressed and will remain visible until the view button is pressed again.